Psylocke. What do you think was gonna happen? Welcome to 1407 Great Malkin Lane. This is the latest memory of the X-Men. All right, today we are doing Hellions 14. Okay. Normally I would give this book so much high praise. It's, yeah, the art's really cool. The writing's great. The story, I'm really into the story. I'm loving the characters, but yeah, okay, yes. We get back to the Hellions dealing with the, with, uh, the mutants from Amoth and Tarn the Uncaring. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about any of that. I'm more interested on the old Sinister, that the Sinister got left behind in the Sinister, uh, on Krakoa. And apparently Sinister has already created a Chimera. So he, so the Sinister that got left, I'm gonna call him Dead Sinister, leads all the, all these, um, basically the uh, Rocco version of the Hellions. And, oh God, it's just, it's just filler. It's all filler. I don't care about any of it. It's fine. I love, like, it really sucks what happened to Wild Child. They they did him dirty, but the the build up to it that was cool. And also, I liked how the entire team now knows that Sinister ain't shit. I mean, they knew that he wasn't shit, but like now they know. There's levels. There are levels to this. Like, I'm pretty sure he has his own spot reserved for him in hell. So. That being said, I want to give this book a uh, 3.25. It's filler, it does the job, it does what it needs to, but I'm waiting on the next one. I like, yeah, all the action's cool, but like, I'm waiting on the next one. So, it's 1407 Great Michael Lane, signing out.